it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today we are going over video number three, all about XLOOKUP formulas. So in this example, we're going to be looking at how we can use XLOOKUP when there are multiple criteria to match to. So each employee is going to have a performance rating, and they're also going to have a position to market assigned in the main worksheet. So they're going to have our performance rating here. And then here is also going to show whether they're within, above, or below market compared to their salary range. So based on those two factors, we want to pull in one recommended merit increase percent. And this is one of our templates where you can set it up so that a higher performance rating, you could say gets a 10% merit increase if they're below market, or if they're already above market, meaning they're high in the range, they would get a lower uh, merit increase. And then someone with a lower performance rating would and below market or within market gets different recommended increase percentages. So we're looking at two different criteria to get one result pulled in. So we're going to be looking at two different XLOOKUP formulas and combining them together in one formula for this example. This is a similar format where the formulas are gray and then I have some sample information filled out, just five people this time. And I'm going to do the same thing to show the example of uh, this VLOOKUP compared to how we could do it with XLOOKUP. We're pulling in the performance rating. We're also pulling in the salary range based on their band, their comp ratio, and we're looking at their position to the market or to the midpoint. This is all set up based on information that you can enter in the salary ranges, which I've just entered one example, and also a merit increase matrix. And what I've outlined here for the example is you know, you can define what you want to consider is below and above market, and it will slot people into these three areas below, within, or above based on their percentage to their band midpoint. So for this example, I was saying if they're less than 80% of their midpoint below market, greater than 120 above market, it you can adjust that to see how it would change the recommendations. And then I have performance ratings here. And so this matrix is looking at if they're above market and have a lower performance rating or if they're below market and have a really high performance rating or somewhere in the middle. So that is what we're looking to pull in is this recommended percentage based on two factors. So to do this with XLOOKUP, we're actually going to be doing a two-way XLOOKUP, so two XLOOKUPs nested within each other. Bear with me. I know it sounded kind of complicated, but it's harder to compare to this VLOOKUP because in order to get this VLOOKUP to do that, I actually had set up a table which is hidden and concatenate these two columns together and then pulling in that percentage. So to do this, I'm first going to do the XLOOKUP up here, and then that's the one I'll copy and paste into the XLOOKUP I'm going to put here. So we're first going to do an XLOOKUP that looks at the performance rating first, and it's going to return the, these three values within below or above. So that's the first part of what we need to determine. So we're going to do the XLOOKUP based on performance rating. And then we're looking over here at the increase matrix. And we're going to be looking at the rating right here. And then we are going to return one of these three values associated with that rating below 2%. I'm going to need to do the function F4 on that and probably a function F4 for to lock it. So you'll see that it returns 2% and that is for that first value of five. So five returns 2% for every scenario. The second step is we are going to copy, uh, not the equal sign, but just uh, copy this formula 
and we're going to end up pasting it into a second XLOOKUP formula. First we looked at the performance rating, now we're going to look at the position to market. We're going to look here and we're matching position to market to one of these and then what we'll return is the, the X lookup. And then, and we got 2%. Now, I think I need to lock something in here. Let me do another function F4 because we're gonna be dragging the formula. Um, okay, so we already have that part locked, so we're good. Now we can just drag it down and pulled in for this, but we're getting an NA for below market and a 10. The below market field that's not matching, there's a space right there, so I must have clicked in there. Okay, now it's working, here we go. And we could also put it if not found. Okay, so that would be an example of using two X lookups within one formula so that it can look at two different factors and pull in like matrix type information, which there's so many uses that we could use that for, especially in compensation. So I hope that helps to explain how to use a two-way X lookup formula for the next time that you need to pull information based on two different sources of information. Until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets with your compensation programs. Also, we do rental property management and small business related spreadsheets as well. To find the merit increase worksheet that we were using for the example, you can find that if you go to timesavingtemplates.com and go to the shop and then human resources spreadsheets and you'll find it there. We also have some free resources you can check out at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources and you'll see we have a page specific for HR and compensation metrics cheat sheet, rental property cheat sheet, and something for a smaller handmade business that's a handmade pricing calculator. We also have a free get started with Excel guide if you're looking for more of the beginner. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. We have about two more XLOOKUP related videos to go. So I'll see you at the next one. Thanks.